Welcome to the instructions for online registration for the 2014-2015 school year for our elementary campuses. As a reminder, you must have Skyward Family Access to complete online registration. To begin, open the Castleberry ISD homepage, select Family, scroll down to Skyward Family Access. You will then need to log into your account. Once you have logged into your account, you will notice that any messages will appear on the home page. Now select online registration and select the student that you are enrolling. This will take you to step 1A of verify student information. In this section, you are just verifying that all the information is correct. If anything is incorrect, you will need to contact your child's campus. Below, it's allow publication of student's name, for military use, higher education, public use, district use, and local use. For clarification on these options, you will select the question mark. And once you have read through the information, you will close and either select yes or no. And you will check the box that I have completed this step. And proceed to the next step, a family address. If you have moved, but are still in our district, you may change your address here. However, this will need to be verified by your child's campus prior to completing online registration. If everything is the same, you will check the box that I've completed this step and proceed to the next step of family information. This is where you are verifying your phone numbers. If anything has changed, you may change it here. Once you have completed the changes, you will check the box that I've completed this step and proceed to the next step of emergency information. This is where you would add a doctor, a dentist, hospital, insurance, or insurance policy. Once you have verified the information, you will check the box I've completed this step and proceed to the next step of emergency contacts. In this screen, you can add an emergency contact delete an emergency contact, or make any changes. Once all the changes have been made, or everything has been verified, you will select the box that I have completed this step, and proceed to the next step. Verify student information for health information, for health problems, allergy notes, medication notes, hospital notes, vision notes, hearing notes, or any other concerns. This information goes directly to your campus school nurse. Once complete, you will check the box that I have completed this step and proceed to the next step. This is our forms, permission for counseling in section two. You will select the form, read through the information, either give or do not give permission. You can either save and print or save. And you will check the box that I have completed this step and proceed to the next step, occupational survey. You will then select the form, read through all the information, select all that apply, save, you will check the box I've completed this step and proceed to the next step. You'll select the form for student residency survey. Read all of the information. Select all that apply. Sign, date, and put the relationship to the student. You will then save the form and check the box that I have completed this step and proceed to the next step for our military connected and foster care form. You will read all of the information and select either yes or no for each question. Save the form. Check the box I've completed this step. Then proceed to the next step. Just our attendance warning letter. We'll select the form. Read through all of the information. You will then sign, date, save the form, and 
check the box that I've completed this step and proceed to the next step. Steps 7 and 8 are optional steps. However, step 9 and 10 do go back and reference step 7. Step 7 is the online student handbook. You read through the information and then you will select that I have completed this optional step. Step 9 is a student code of conduct. You will select this form, read through all of the information, sign, date, we'll save this form, and then mark that I have completed this step. Proceed to the next step, which is our responsible use policy form. Once again, read through all of the information. You will either give or you do not give permission. Your student will sign, parent signature, and date. Save the form. You will mark that I've completed this step and proceed to the next step, which is the bring your own device form. You and your student will read through all of the information. If they are bringing their own device, you will select here which device they are bringing. Your student will sign. And then you will give or not give permission. And then sign date. Save the form. And select that I've completed this step. You've now completed online registration. You will select complete online registration. View all of the steps. You may print this for your records. And then you will need to submit online registration. Online registration has successful, successfully been completed. You will now receive an email from your campus. Please bring this email or a copy of the email to your child's registration to receive a fast pass. You have completed online registration. Thank you. Have a wonderful summer and we look forward to seeing you in the 2014-2015 school year.